Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Game Boy Advance backlight screen mod. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it exactly and I'm going to show you all the steps. So let's get started. <laughs> So to begin the process, let's start by removing the screws on the back of the actual Game Boy. They are tri-wing screws, so you'll most likely need a special screwdriver to remove them. And there's also a small Phillips screw hidden under the battery cover of the actual Game Boy. And once you've finally gotten the back panel removed, you'll need to remove the actual motherboard as well. So there's two Phillips screws on either side of the motherboard, and you'll need to remove both of those. So now once you remove the Phillips screws, you'll need to swivel the motherboard off to the side, making sure the display cable doesn't actually get ripped. And now we're going to remove the old display. So on the right side of the display, you'll see a small cavity, which you can slip a tool into and pry up the display. I used a spudger to remove it. And it may be difficult at first to remove the display due to the rubber adhesive around the display. But once you've gotten it pried up, you should be able to pry it up completely from all sides and remove it. And once the display is out of the case, disconnect it from the motherboard by sliding the plastic tab forward and pulling out the display ribbon. So now we're going to need to modify the Game Boy's case a little bit to make the new screen fit in just fine. So the new screen is slightly taller than the previous one that was inside there before, and it's also a bit thicker, so you'll need to cut away some plastic bits to hold the screen in place. So I started with some cutters to remove the majority of the plastic, and then I followed that up with an X-Acto knife, and then finally I just lightly sanded the surface down to make the plastic smooth. And eventually you should be able to slip the screen in without any gaps in the display. So now here's the fun part, connecting it all together. So you're going to want to connect the display ribbon cable to the adapter cable that comes with the display. This is going to allow you to power the backlight separately from the actual display. So once you've gotten the display connected to the adapter, connect the adapter to the Game Boy's motherboard. And there's going to be one wire sticking out, and this is the wire we actually need to solder. So you're going to need to know how to solder to complete this mod, but it's not too hard, it's only one solder point. So you're going to want to find this transistor, labeled DA1, and you're going to want to solder that little wire to the lower right leg of it. And once you've done that, wrap the wire around the capacitors to keep it in place, and you can place back the buttons and switches right after that to make sure it's all complete. After that, just screw in the motherboard back into place with the two Phillips screws we had before. And the one thing you'll notice is the fit will be a lot tighter because of the added thickness of the display, as well as the adapter cable. But don't worry, nothing should break because there's still enough clearance in there just to squish it all together. And once you've gotten the motherboard back into the display, take your tri-wing screws and your back panel, screw in your back panel with the tri-wing screws, and also don't forget the small Phillips screw under the battery cover. And now once you've gotten all of that screwed in, put in your batteries, fire up your Game Boy, and you should have a nice backlit screen. But that's about it for the mod. So all in all, the display looks very crisp and plenty bright, especially at night. So I found that the replacement screen was actually brighter than the one in the Game Boy Advance SP. And all in all, it was a very nice experience to play games in. I played Pokemon at it at night and also at day, and both, both times it's perfectly visible, and it also keeps the reflective ability of the display. So if you're out in the daylight, it will actually reflect from the back of the display as well, even if you have the backlight on, so that's amazing. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you really liked it, then make sure to subscribe. Anyways guys, I'm out, I'll see you in the next one.